murder of four Americans, including the U.S. ambassador in Benghazi, Libya on Tuesday, and the wave of anti-American protests and violence now sweeping the globe. For more on what happened and why, let's bring in the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, Dr. Susan Rice. There was a, uh, a, a hateful video, spontaneous protest, spontaneous, not a premeditated, began outside of our consulate in Benghazi in reaction to this uh, very offensive video. Uh, it had nothing to do with the United States government uh, or U.S. policy. It's approximately a reaction to this video. This has been a difficult week for our country. We've seen the heavy assault on our post in Benghazi that took the lives of those brave men. We've seen rage and violence directed at American embassies over an awful internet video. It is in response not to United States policy, uh, not to obviously the administration, not to the American people. It is in response to a video. It was a crude and disgusting video. It sparked outrage throughout the Muslim world. The message we have to send, I think, to the Muslim world is that uh, we expect you to work with us to keep our people safe. And uh, as offensive as this video was, uh, and obviously, We've denounced it, and the United States government had nothing to do with it. Uh, that's never an excuse for violence. People have uh, accused Ambassador Rice and the administration of you know, misleading Americans. I can say, trying to be in the middle of this and understanding what was going on, nothing could be further from the truth. Um, the reason I said, make it open, tell the world, is because I believe in transparency. I believe in taking responsibility. The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? The IC has a process, I understand, going with the other committees to explain how these talking points came out. But You, me, add a line about the administration warning of September 10th of social media reports calling for demonstrations. True? Uh, I believe so. Did you also change attacks to demonstrations in the talking points? Uh, maybe. I don't really remember. You don't remember? Dude, this is like two years ago. We're still talking about the Dude, most mundane it is the thing process. That I don't exactly know what to say. I have been ignored by the State Department. I've been told I was unimportant. It's been pure hell living through all this and not getting any answers. I want answers. I want to know what happened with my son. Nobody from the government has gotten back to me to tell me anything. Wait a minute, I take that back. I apologize. I was told a few things, and they were all lies. Obama and Hillary and Panetta and Biden and uh, Susan all came up to me at the casket ceremony. Every one of them came up to me, gave me a big hug, and I asked them, what happened? Please tell me. And every one of them says, it was the, the video. And we all know that it wasn't the video. Your experts knew the truth. Your spokesperson knew the truth. Greg Hicks knew the truth. But what troubles me more is I think you knew the truth. I want to show you a few things here. You're looking at an email you sent to your family. Here's what you said. At 11 o'clock that night, approximately one hour after you told the American people it was a video, you say to your family, two officers were, were, were killed today in Benghazi by an Al-Qaeda-like group. On the night of the attack, you had a call with the president of Libya. Here's what you said to him. Ansar al-Sharia is claiming responsibility. The next day, within 24 hours, you had a conversation with the Egyptian Prime Minister. You told him this. We know, not we think, not it might be, we know the attack in Libya had nothing to do with the film. It was a planned attack, not a protest. State Department experts knew the truth. You knew the truth. But that's not what the American people got. There was a, uh, a, a hateful video. Awful internet video. It was in response to a video. It was a crude and disgusting video. And uh, as offensive as this video was, we've denounced it and the United States government had nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
been pure hell living through all this and not getting any answers. I want answers. I want to know what happened with my son.